Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. We are continuing our competitive Guilds of Ravnica draft. Uh, we are playing a Selesnya deck. We are currently 2 and 1. This video could be pretty short. It could, we could just get blown up by a Boros deck again. Um, yeah, we lost to a Boros deck last round that played kept a hand of 5 uh, and just curved out perfectly while we stayed stuck on 2 lands and it was terrible in every way you can imagine. But we've also had some really cool matches where uh, we put made our healers hawk a 2-2 on turn 2 and uh, had our Donna Hope out and we were just drawing a bunch of cards. So very swingy deck, very swingy format still. It's still going along with my original feelings on the format, which just seems like some games you get steamrolled and some games you steamroll some people. And be curious to see if that ends up being the reality of the format or if it's just um, I'm drafting inconsistent decks. Uh, we're going to keep this, uh, but it is very slow. So if they're a aggro deck, we could be in some big time trouble. This is one way to win a match, is if your opponent just doesn't play. I'm going to make my video smaller. I don't think anybody cares to see more of me. You guys are okay, right? You don't need more of me. Now, District Guide is something I can get behind. <laughs> we are going to be set on lands, there's no doubt of that. I don't think we need double black for any reason. So we might as well just go ahead and get our color fixing. I think green is... it doesn't matter, we're going to be fine in the other one. Yeah, we're going to have a shit ton of lands. So hopefully we can draw something to do with all those lands. Nice. So Parhelion Patrol is going to just shut down Scanner Age in there completely. Um, now we may have a combat trick for it. But then we're trading cards. And then we can still chump up with a rock charger. Um, it's the same, they're gonna both be two twos. I'd rather kill the healer's hot. Okay. That's unfortunate. Maybe that was a misplay. Let's see what just gained one life. So I'm tempted to play Rock Charger here to have a blocker. If he has another sure strike, that's just really unfortunate. You got it, buddy. Whoa, buddy, you got it. Hit for five. His instance, we're going to go ahead and go to combat. And attack with both of them because this cannot block right.
So we're on a three turn clock. So we take another three here. Man, we just do not have good interaction against this deck. Yeah, that's the exact same way we lost our other deck. We could bring in Pitch Call Recruits, Fresh Mechanopy. Maybe bring in Deadweight. Do we bring in Deadweight and just hope we get a black source? I think so. What do we not care about? Pell Collector seems underwhelming. Circuitous route seems too slow. And then we'll drop one of our giant bombs. Maybe. Maybe our elemental. There we go. Okay. You only have a few black. Yeah, I guess shit. So we cut the circuitous route. So I guess we only have three black sources. So dead weight could be pretty dead in our hand. Excuse the pun. I think we have to keep this, but it is just incredibly slow, unfortunately. I just can't send back Ed looking at land, hand, no, Locket I probably should have taken out. I should probably taken out Locket. Granted, it could potentially be what saves us this match by letting us cast per healing patrol, but um, we are going to be on the play. So that'll give us like an extra turn to stabilize. Oh. I mean, we've lost to a Boros deck, but Mulligan down to four. And Mulligan down to five. Did not Mulligan down to four. But if he has like a new healer's hog, Skylight Legionnaire, we're in trouble for a while. Sure strike here is a fucking blowout, but I don't think we have too many other choices. You know, we can't, can't assume that he has everything. I didn't get our gold guard kill gate. We got tapped. Okay, the other spot.
three, six, seven, so it should be level two. Yeah. Get the healing patrol and Oh no, it's four mana. I thought it was three for some reason. Unfortunately, not quite enough mana to cash in the locket. I mean, yeah, I, like I started this video, what I say, these matches are extremely steamrolly, and dear lord. I mean, okay, that's, I, it's not really fair since you mulliganed down to four, but. So. Oh, I'm so happy today, by the way. I, uh, I play Pokemon Go still. Which I know is kind of crazy. I don't play it too actively. You know, I'm not going out and doing gym battles or reading and stuff. But um, in Jijun takes possession X in total in the turn. So we can do this. We can make it a three-four. Which then we can buff our. We can minter onto our healer's hawk. Uh, so I got a Mr. Mime, and today was like the last day you could get a Mr. Mime, and he's a regional that you can only get in Europe, and I hatched like 40 eggs trying to get one. Uh, okay, so... We're going to probably... I know I realized Locket was good for us, but we probably need to take out Locket and put it in... B... Get tax favor. Give us a combat trick against his combat tricks. Come on, please win. I want to get those three wins, get our gems back. Ugh. Okay, we, we actually do have the mulligan miss. It's just too slow against them. They're going to keep this. Um, the district guide, if we can draw another land, will help us get our dead weight on act on play. Um, we don't want that. We really want a land, preferably a guild gate, but we can play this turn. But we just need a land, get the turn three, get our district guide, get our Golgari guild gate, cast dead weight, trade off, get the crop forgers, get the part healing patrol. Oh, come on, please give me a... The healer's hog helps us. What did he mulligan down to? Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> We're both stuck at two hands. Oh. So we'll have a solution. We should have trade off with the marshal when we had the chance. Get the gold guard guild gate. Is there any world where we're gonna block this? I'm not gonna attack. Should 
sure strike on which one on that one. Okay. So now we play the gold guard, go gate, and we play the fish claw recluse, which will help us block some damage. Oh no! Oh shit, no! Read the fucking card, Steven! Oh god damn it. Two, three, four, five. I think I have to kill this. So that we can go down to two. Oh, come on, you bullshit artist. <sighs> yeah. to six mana. It's going to have Yeah, I'm sure we're dead, but I have to at least try here. Oh, nice. What is he doing? He just wants to be a dick and blow me out. God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? These Boros decks are insane. They are absolutely fucking insane. One, two, five. They're so fucking dumb. He pulled again to like five, and then he just drew all of the healers, hawks, and skylight legionnaires he could ever want. Like, he literally. If you ask me what his deck was, I would say like five Skylight Legionnaires, five Short Strikes, five Healers Hawks. Because that's the only thing we saw. Damn it. Give me some wild cards at least here. Hey. Okay. I don't think that card is playable in any format, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Nice. That's the number one thing you can open. Hey, cool. That's nice. Got some good wild cards for all that constructive play I do. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be playing a, uh, I don't know, we'll draft another deck probably. Are there any new formats? Ooh, of course that's going to go out in a few 
hours, so maybe it'll be something else. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do quick drafts of Georgia Radnica, which would be fun. I will see you guys later. Bye.